Hello, 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 my friends. Welcome to Off the Cuff with SDJ. That is me. Happy to have you here with me today. So excited to see you on this, well, beautiful Thursday in Arizona. But man, are some of you dealing with some crazy weather. I want you to know that those of us that are in the warm states are sending love and warmth and sunshine to all of you. Um, that are are struggling. So come on in, guys. Say hello, and we're going to get started in just a couple of minutes. Uh, love to uh, connect with all of you today. We have a great, great topic today because, number one, we have um, Liz Don, which I know lots of you know, so I'm going to bring her on in just a minute. Uh, who is the founder, co-founder of Mishka Productions and Celebrate Your Life. Uh, so we're going to be talking about a really cool program that we have and helping you get some info about how you can be a speaker and really develop your, um, your speaking skills on whatever stage you're using. Right now, this stage right here is my stage, right? Facebook, social media is the stage. So we're going to get started in just a minute, guys. Let's just see who is there. Hello, everyone. Hi, Marissa and Chester, Shauna, Thomas, Michelle, Janet, Serata, Matt. Great to see you. Mindy, Helen, Jay, Charlotte. Awesome. Good to see all you friends. All right, guys. So if you um, are on your mobile device, hit that little button at the bottom where you can share this on your page in your community. Um, or if you know someone who is out there, who's a speaker, an author, a teacher that wants to get out there in a greater way, that wants to get in front of uh, producers and um, do events, because events aren't gone forever, guys. It's only temporary. So if you know somebody, tag them right there in the comments so they can also find us there. All right, friends, let me in. Weird happened. Yeah, I disappeared myself. But I'm back. I was like, oh no, something happened. <laughs> I disappeared, but I'm back. And Dawn. Hey girl. Hi, Sunny Dawn. Good to see you, my friend. Good to All see you. All right. So Hello, we out there in TV land. In TV land, yes. Yeah, we, we have lots of friends out there in Facebook. Oh, right there's now. Rita and William and Pam and Barb and Trish. I, we are the romper room ladies. Yes. I kind of love it. I see Sunny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yep. I see Shauna mm -hmm. and Juliana. It's kind of my favorite thing. I love that. I know. And I love it when everybody says hi. It's really fun to see. So say hi. Yes, exactly. There's Elise Let's and Rita and Linda and Mindy. Mindy Lipton. Hi. Oh, look at all. Mina. Oh, this is fabulous. We're going to bring all the energy in, guys. Bring all the energy in. All right, Liz. So those of you that don't know Liz, um, she is the co-founder of Mishka Productions and Celebrate Your Life. And if you haven't heard of Celebrate Your Life, then you have been under a rock. That's what I'm thinking. You're, you, you have to have been under a rock. Because Celebrate Your Life is um, and has been one of the um, um, really, for gosh, 20, is it 20? It's 25 years. We are the best, most awesome, most fabulous, most amazing live events you will ever, ever eat, attend. Ever. Right. And Sunny right. Dawn Johnston has appeared at every single Celebrate Your Life conference and retreat since 2007. That's Yay! right. That is true. A long time. You've been to, and when we were doing it like two or three times a year, it was like, okay, Sunny, where are you? You're coming? You're coming? You're coming? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And what we do is that we bring together some of the greatest, the world's greatest spiritual, personal development, inspiring and motivational teachers for these awesome soul fests, meaning that they're all together in one place at one time. They do workshops and keynote lectures all throughout the four, four to five day events. Mm -hmm. And now we're doing things online. That's right. <laughs> because that's the choice we have. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yes. So when you are alive, with it, right? That's right. When you're in a live event producer and you can't do live events, then you pivot and you do things online, which oh. is part of what we're here to talk about. And so Janice, Janice Gleiman is our event coordinator director, right? And she 
she looked at me, it was, well, I don't know, it was a few weeks ago, and she goes, I can't even do my job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I've got other jobs for you. Yeah. Yeah. So, they can't even do my job. so it's, but it's also about pivoting. It's also about moving with the energy. And I know that you've talked a lot about the sunny. And, you know, not to say that there haven't been moments when I've been on the floor, like looking and crying and going, what are we going to do? And mm -hmm. then, of course, it does come to me. Divine inspiration has been coming to me, just like you taught me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, because sometimes that's when we hear best is when we're on the floor. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. And so Sunny and I put together a program, right? Should we talk about it now or should yeah. we just like? Yes, we okay. should. I think we should. So all right, so a couple of years ago, Sunny and I decided, because there were so many people wanting to be spiritual speakers, there were so many people with really, really important messages to share with the world. And as Sunny has shared, if you are an author, if you're a writer, you're definitely gonna to wanna to be out there on stage or on video or doing some type of events to get your message out there. And so with my expertise and with Sunny's amazing expertise, we decided to blend both of our gifts and we created a program called the Celebrate Your Life Speakers Program. Okay, now you you want to take over? Sure. So we had we had talked about this for a couple of years before we actually created it because we kept saying, you know, there's so many people that want help, and we really we could help them get get them, you know, with with Liz having all of the background with not just being a producer of this amazing event, but also having your actress background, the skills that you have and, you know, your stage presence and all of that. And me having had the, the front end of the stage um, experience and knowing how to hold an audience and pull that energy together, we thought, gosh, if the two of us came together and we did a, a, a program, a class where we could actually give people the insight, not just the stuff that to read about in books, but like the inside information as to what you really need to be able to be a successful speaker, if you're from that perspective, or if you want to get into events, how you can approach the producers and what they're looking for and how to how to um, impress upon them the your value. And so a couple of years ago, we actually came up with this program and we created it. We launched it. Uh, we did it twice. And mm -hmm. we had such great such great success we had so many yeah. just gosh the people and then we had some great winners who got us a chance to speak on the celebrate your life stage uh which has been so fun to watch um, <laughs> elias has been just oh my gosh he's he, you know, elias was our winner last year and he, he he did such a great job and he's just out there like like doing his doing his work which is so no. fun. I know. I think some of the fun part, at least for me, is watching all those people who took the program, Sunny, and to watch their careers. Yes. I mean, Lisa and April and Elias, and I mean, everybody who took the program is really out there, even though we're not able to get out there in person right now. They're really out there still doing the work. Yeah. So how many of you out there, I'd love to see in, oh, Kate is out there. Hi, Kate Chip who I feel like I've known her forever, but we've never met in person actually. <laughs> so how many of you out there have a dream of becoming a speaker and or you've started your career, you've kind of like dabbled in it, you've started to speak a little bit. Shauna, I know that you have been out there and putting your message out there as well. Um, Kate, I know I've seen you out there as well doing some speaking and doing some Facebook lives. So how many of you really have had a dream and know that your message is really important to get out to the world? I'd love to see that. Just give us a big yes. Yes. You yeah. would love to be a speaker. Absolutely. Oh, Marissa, absolutely. So this particular program that we created really takes people at all different levels of development. So it's perfect for those people who have just started out. It's perfect for those people who are kind of in the middle of the road where yes, you've been out there. Yes, you've been wanting to do this, but you haven't like really jumped off and been able to get any paid gigs yet. And then there, this is, there's a lot of great information for those of you who have already been out there. So it kind of takes you through all different levels. So, Oh, Barb, yes, Pam, yes, Allison, yes, yes. Okay, so here we are today, and we're gonna answer some questions. Do you wanna you wanna get to some questions, Sunday? So we're yeah, gonna we're answer good. some of your questions that you might have for wherever you are in this process. 
just ask us some questions and oh my gosh that's really funny kate <laughs> That's great. Kate just wrote something that she interviewed with me in 2007 to be my assistant. Oh, wow. It's really funny. Okay, like so um, for those of you that are ready, ready to be a speaker, what questions do you have? Because you can get some really great input right here, right now. That's right, Jody, you took, you took the class. Oh, and Jody, Watching you blossom and using all of the tools and the skills that we taught you is just amazing. I mean, again, one of the things that we teach in the program, and Sunny is masterful at this, masterful. She, when you've seen Sunny on stage, how many of you have seen Sunny on stage? When Sunny is on stage, she has a natural gift for being able to read an audience, to tune in, to know when she's losing an audience and knows when to shift the energy and pick things up or drop things down or get them into their heart. She's masterful at this and she teaches this throughout the program, which by the way, I don't know if I've ever told you that. That's what I really love when I watch your presentations live. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and you can learn it and learn it, but you have to be tuned in. You have to be you have to be present and you have to be aware. You can't just be going by the piece of paper that you think you need to teach by. You've got to be tapped into the audience energy. And, and there's there's so many pieces, guys, to, to being a speaker. It isn't, you know, a lot of people think, oh, my gosh, that's like just the glamour and glitz. It's so easy to show up and you speak. And, the, and it's not. It's work. It is work. But it is fantastic work. Like it is the greatest thing to be able to be on stage and connect and inspire and motivate and teach and all that. And then to get to know the people and to, you know, have all of you be in our lives and in our circles where we know you by name and we, we can help support you. It's, it's, it's my favorite. It's a thing that's been the hardest with COVID for me is not doing the events. That's been the hardest part for me. I know. Yeah. And, but, you know, and some of the online programs, and we've done a few online programs, I have to tell you, I'm still feeling, because if you do it on Zoom, I'm still feeling the community and the connection. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, even now, I'm, I'm, I'm looking through these comments, and there are a couple of questions. So let's jump in. But I, do, I miss it, too. I really miss being and connecting heart to heart. Okay. So where did those questions go? Okay. Here we go. Shauna. Shauna, there you are. Nope. <laughs> there was a question about, there's so many comments. I think there was a question about whether there's going to be practice time during the program. So, okay, you want to take that? And then I have yeah. a response to that too. So, so basically what the way the program is set up, my friends, is we, we have the recorded teaching, the coursework basically, which is all recorded. And when, once you sign up, you, you will get that information to be able to um, go through in your own time and space. Then we have dates, March 16th, March 23rd, March 30th, April 6th, and April 13th, where we're going to come together live to be able to answer your questions, to give you feedback, to be able to open and expand um, not just what you took in, but now kind of help you to to sink into it, to get any more clarity that you might need. So is there is there a time to actually practice that's in front of us? Um, not necessarily. However, you do have the opportunity to apply for a bonus. And in the bonus, you would show us the skills that you learned. And we're going to pick three winners to receive that bonus. You want to talk about the bonus, Liz? Absolutely. And this is really kind of exciting. And just Barb, I just want to share with you for everybody right now, we are live right now. And this is something else we're going to be teaching during our Facebook live sessions, by the way. So we are live right now, I think on eight different platforms. So we're live on several Facebook groups, several Facebook fan pages, and also on YouTube at the same time. So I just want you all to know, you might not be seeing comments in the feed that you happen to be looking at it, but we're in eight different places right now because we have the magic secret that we will share with you. 
<laughs> now there's practice time because you're going to, so part of the program, and we've added some really, really juicy bonuses as part of the program, you'll actually get to apply for a bonus package. And included in that bonus package is you're going to apply to Sunny and I, just like you would if you were applying to a conference producer such as myself, if you were putting yourself out there as a speaker, and we're going to teach you how to apply as a speaker for any conference that's out there. And so you'll have to put together an entire package, which includes a video of yourself, which includes a bio, workshop title and description, and we're gonna teach you how to do this throughout the program. And then at the end of the program, you'll get to apply for this bonus package. And the bonus package includes private sessions with Sunny and I, as well as doing Facebook live interviews, just like we're doing right now, along with doing a live po podcast with Sunny. So you'll get, and, and go ahead and take a look at that on the page. So if you go to the celebrateyourlife.com, Go to celebrateyourlife.com forward slash speakers program. It will take you directly to the program. Yeah, it's right here. It's right there. Celebrate. And I think you can do www or just celebrateyourlife.com forward slash speakers program. So it's really, really an amazing bonus session as part of the program. Now, in addition to this, Shauna, this is a great question that you're asking, and all of that information is on the website as well. The time of day is the live portion. So in addition to this, all of you are going to be in a Facebook group together, a private Facebook group, and it is fantastic because you get a loving, supportive community, and you share ideas together, and you share, you know, you kind of compare, I've done this, have you done this? Do you know about this conference? There's all these great you know, platforms that we can actually go live at later on and things that we can do now during the pandemic. So we actually come together in this Facebook group and then Sunny and I take turns coming in live. We talk with you, we coach you, we answer any questions, we're there present with you. And then Sunny and I will come on together and answer any questions. So we are really present for you. So you'll have the coursework, You'll have all of the coursework, and then you will also have access to both of us live in the Facebook group. Mm -hmm. It'll yes. be on Tuesdays. So it's Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Pacific time, the, the 16th of March, 23rd, 30th, and then April 6th and 13th. So there's five different live sessions that you'll either be speaking to me or to Liz or to both of us or to a bonus guest speaker as well. So we'll have that thrown in there as well. So it's going to be a really great program. And here's the thing for sure, guys, if you are someone who is a teacher, if you're an author, if you have a healing center and you're doing classes and things like that, you've got to remember that not everybody, not everybody wants to be on the stage of a, of a big event. But if you are in a healing center and your chair is in the front, that's your stage. If you are doing a Facebook Live like we are right now, this is our stage. If you're on YouTube, that is your stage. If you are if you are um, doing a little video and recording it and then posting it on your website, that is your stage. And stage presence matters. The way that you show up, and it's not all about you know having your hair look perfect and all that. It's about confidence. It's about presence. It's about connection. Those things matter, and we don't usually give it as much credit as it needs to really be great at doing it. Absolutely. Um, Sunny, I think you have admin availability. There's a comment in there that maybe we should probably yeah, delete. I got it. Oh my goodness, Sally. Yeah, we're, we're, we're so popular. There it is. Ah! Right there. We're so popular that, um, actually I can't delete that one. Um, that one. Okay, somebody, maybe Janice, if you would find out that Sally Higgins, we just need to send her some love. Yeah, and if we could right. block her, somebody will just block her, that'd be great. Yes, Janiel, I would love to answer this question. So Janiel has asked here, in a pandemic world while speaking, while speaking, what do you focus your eyes on so to better connect with your online audience? Okay, so I'm gonna take this and then Sunny's gonna take this. So you get double, double answers. When I'm speaking, if I'm speaking directly to you, as I'm doing right now, I actually focus on the camera and I'm focusing right now. And, and what I do 
if I'm doing a Facebook Live and I'm seeing all of the comments come by, I do read the comments and then I go to the camera. And when I do that, I hold the energy of all of your energy. So I come on and I tune into your energy and I know who's there and I know your names and I'm speaking to you directly, Janiel. And I, I hold that in my heart and in my body and, and then I speak to the camera and I speak from my heart. Mm -hmm. And then if I'm doing this type of a platform, I'll look at Sunny, even though it doesn't really look like I'm looking at you because I'm turning my head this, I don't know. It's a little bit backwards, but I do look at Sunny because I do like to connect with her energy. I do like to connect with the other person that I'm talking with. When I'm doing a Zoom online class, I actually do scroll through <clears throat> and I do look at the audience because that helps me to connect with their energy as well. And then of course I do look at the camera. So I'm looking directly in their eyes and I know that I'm looking directly in all of your eyes right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I would, I, would that. I would ditto that. So if you can notice me right now, and as I'm looking right now, then I'm looking at you. If I look like this, I'm looking at Liz. If I look like this, I'm looking at the comments. And, you know, it's it, you become when you're doing Facebook lives and things like that. And this is your stage. You become a producer in in your world of doing this right now, because you've got to pay attention to the to the comments and pay attention to your guests and pay attention to your to your listeners and your viewers. And so there's there's a lot of pieces that are that are happening. And when you start to um, when you when you start doing it, you get better. So it's OK if you don't have it all figured out. But what a lot of people struggle with is while I'm looking at the camera right now, I can also see me and Liz below me. A lot of people struggle. They don't want to see themselves. They're like, I don't want to look at myself on camera. No. That is true. People struggle. And so here's the thing. I think one of the great things about Facebook Lives is that we're learning how to accept ourselves. We're learning how to embrace. We're, we're recognizing that the message is most important, regardless of the level of confidence you have in, in your presentation and the way that you're doing it. And then as you start to get better and better and better at that and more confident, then you care less about the, oh my gosh, my hair looked like this, or people are going to think I look that way because it's about the message. Yes. Wow. It's about what you're coming through in heart. And having said that, I do wear more makeup when I do this. <laughs> <laughs> I will be absolutely honest. And, and you really can't tell because you know, that just the way the lighting is and the camera is. Oh, Barbie Nyman, we love you too. Okay, Jody asked a really good question. Is there a place where speakers can find different places that look for speakers out in the world looking to expand my audience this year? Yes. So there are a ton of places out there. And what I would do is start with like a Google search or whatever search engine you use and just start, just start Googling spiritual conferences or um, whatever it is that you're, you're teaching Jody. I believe that you teach about psychic awareness and spiritual medium. And so you want to kind of maybe go into your specialty, spiritual medium conferences or conferences only around um, spiritual things or personal development. And then I would really start to put yourself out there, find out who's the CEO of the company, who's the assistant, who are the people and start develop relationships. Well, here's what I would not recommend. And I talk about this during um, the course. What I would not recommend is that you just blindly throw things out there. You want to know a little bit about the company first. You want to know, is this a company that I'm a fit for? And is this a company that, I would like to be presented at, you know, people come to me and pitch me for celebrate your life. And again, I share this during the course, they pitch me to be on stage at celebrate your life and they've never stepped foot into a conference or they've never bothered to research who we are and how we operate or what our platform looks like. And that's a little bit of a turnoff from a, from a producer's point of view. That's a turnoff for me because that means you haven't done your homework as a speaker. So find out about me, go to my website, look at it. How did we get started? How, who was the founder of it? Why am I the co-founder? Who is the other founder? And you always, you will always hear me say co-founder. So why, am, who is that? Who, who is the other, that other co-founder? So you want to know a little bit about it. This industry is 
for me at least, and how I got started. And, and, and a lot of you know my story and the background. This was not intentional for me to start a business back in 1995. As a matter of fact, I had absolutely no business, business experience. I was an actor, I was a professional performer, I was an actor, I was doing a lot of regional theater. And well, here I am doing this now. <laughs> and the story's on the website if you wanna find out more. So, so when I started to segue into this, I really learned, okay, I've got to put it on different hat now. And I've got to look at what do I, now people are coming to me and I used to go to people to get jobs, right? As an actress, I would be out there hitting up producers and directors to hire me. And now I'm looking at it from a different perspective and I can see, okay, this is really what I respect in a speaker. They've been to my event. They know the, they know the industry. They understand who else is out there. They know their place. They know what their message is. You know, being being very clear on that is crucial. Is and again, Sunny and I go through this in detail in the course. And and it's practice, practice, practice. In the meantime, guys, like COVID, one of the gifts of COVID has been that so many people have gotten um, have stepped up into being on stage, so to speak. So the, the confidence level, hopefully, you've started mm -hmm. to experience more and more of that confidence. Uh, and, and, and in that, uh, have you're more practiced. So you're able to um, speak uh, just, you know, off the cuff in some ways and, ha and, and have that, that presence to where um, you know what your message is and that, I think, is one of the gifts of COVID. So now when you go into um, connecting with producers that have these events, you can have more, maybe more awareness of your strengths and, um, and, and shine a light on those and have, have more of the confidence of, you know, gosh, for a year, we've been doing this for a year now, for a year, I've been in a place where I've been online every day or every week or what have you. So it, it's, a, it's different, but it's similar. And so I think confidence is such a huge piece. And if you're going to approach a producer, you better be confident. Exactly. Exactly. And that's what we teach you. So Aura, um, Aura is sharing that not many people on this platform are connecting. So we have a software, Aura, that allows us to go live in eight different places at once. So whatever group or page you're currently watching this Facebook live feed from is only one place. So right now we're also live on several of several other of Sunny's pages as well as the Celebrate Your Life pages and my business page. So you might not see the other comments, but all the comments come together as one on the back end of this software. So we can see everybody's comments, okay? Wow. So, <laughs> so, we so, probably, yeah. mm -hmm. so we're seeing all of the comments where maybe you're in a platform that not very many people are commenting right now, but we can see everyone. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so and I hope I'm, time, and we'll be teaching that in the program also. I'll be teaching that in one of the Facebook Lives about how to do all of the tricky things that that we do. Yeah. And sometimes when you're doing lives, you guys, even though we're live right now, it's the middle of the day, people are working. Um, there's all kinds of things that are happening. So a lot of times when you're in there and you're like, oh my gosh, nobody's commenting or nobody's on here. Um, the majority of the views are watched after the live. Mm -hmm. um, that is across the board on every platform. The majority of the views are watched after the live. So it's, it's typical to have a smaller group, smaller comments, and then for the message and, and the viewership to grow as you um as as time goes on ab ab absolutely um allison has a question what is the timeline after the course completion to submit the bonus application by is it a very short deadline after the course you know we haven't completely discussed that but i'm thinking two to three weeks after the course because as you're taking the course you're going to learn more and more about so one of the things I'm going to be teaching you is how to write a really good workshop description. What I'll teach you also is how to write a workshop title. And so and we'll be going through all of the different aspects of how to apply 
to a producer to be part of a conference. Um, so I hope that helps you. It's at least going to be two to three weeks, Allison. Also, Jody, I wanted to answer part of your question here. So in addition to finding other platforms out there to talk, I would also recommend that you just start developing relationships with people in the industry. So if you see, for instance, um, let's say you don't know me and yet you want my attention. And again, I teach this in the class, <laughs> show up show up not only to well right now we're not doing live events but show up on something like this show up on a facebook live St you know keep keep a keen eye as to where these people are where are they speaking where are they presenting what are they doing how are they doing it make sure your name just because i notice when someone's name even though i might have never met them and jody we've met many many times um even if i haven't met someone I will keep noticing them because they'll keep showing up in the feed or making comments or or presenting themselves in a way in a great in a great space. So maybe the producers have other conference producers. I don't know what they do or not. I don't know if they have private groups or things like that. But find out what they're doing and kind of become a part of that. Mm -hmm. Pay yeah, attention. Put yourself in front. Put yourself yeah. in front. Authentically also. So not just just because you're wanting something, but authentically be engaged, authentically be involved, because that is how um, naturally, when it's authentic, when you're in integrity, that's how you get, get the attention of someone is because of the energy and the light, not manipulation, not trying to force situations, but put yourself in front of people and actually care about what it is that they're doing. If you're wanting to grow your audience and, and work with somebody else's audience and you ought to care about theirs too. You ought to be sharing their stuff and letting people know about that event and, 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 and engaging in it as much as possible. And Hey, it might not be the first time. It might not be the second time. I mean, the way I got connected with celebrate your life was it wasn't ever my intention to, um, be a speaker. And initially what it was, was I went to an event. I had a um, remarkable experience and uh, I saw that, um, that Ariel and Liz were creating this, this community of people that could come and listen to these amazing speakers. And I just wanted to support it. I just wanted to be a part of it. So I, I called and I said, Hey, I want to be a volunteer. What do you do? I just want to help. I want to help spread the word. I want to help support your, your, your message. I want to help change the world. I want to help. And that got the attention. So after a few years of them seeing what I was doing, and I was there authentically to help for years. And then one time they said, hey, it's time to do something new. Well, it wasn't quite like that. We had our eye on you. <laughs> well, but I didn't know that. I was coming from the authentic place. I know. Right? Yes. And it was wonderful. Sunny was a volunteer for years. She she ironed James Van Pl Prague's pants one year. I sure did. That's no joke. I oh, know. Yeah, because he was going to go out on stage with wrinkles all over. And I'm like, dude, no, take those off. Give those to me. Let me get you. It was so great. And then what, you know, one of my mom's hot buttons and my hot button was to support up and coming speakers, to support local up and coming speakers, because we had all of these internationally renowned speakers on the stage and we wanted to support local up and coming presenters. And we had heard that Sonny was starting to talk about angels. Well, at the time there was really just one other angel teacher and we'd been paying attention to Sunny and we were watching her grow her platform. And my mom came to me and said, I really love her. I think we need to give her a chance at presenting a workshop. And we did. And that one year we got such, I mean, all years we do now, but that, that first year, and this was way before Sunny had um, a book out. This was way, she was teaching, I think in your, in your living room at this point, but we got such stellar reviews such amazing reviews from her presentation. We thought, wow. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Why am I getting goosebumps? That was so interesting. Woo! Wow. That's we need mama. to keep, I know. <laughs> Mom's here. We need to keep presenting her. We need to keep putting her forth because, you know, our, our, our vision is not just with Celebrate Your Life events. It's not just to 
put the high profile speakers out there, but it's also to support up and coming speakers because, and Sunny and I have the same vision that we believe that everyone's message is important. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a right to be on stage and to share their message with the world. Yeah. And so yeah. that's why we're, we've developed this training. So you know exactly what to do because then you sit there and you're like, well, what do I do next? Mm -hmm. And there's no program like this out there. You know that there's no program like what we're doing with a producer and an internationally renowned speaker brought together. Well, and, and one of the things I want to say to that is everyone has the right, but everybody doesn't have the skill. And yes. so that's what you've got to learn is you've got to learn the skill. You have the ability to learn, but you've got to learn and you don't know what you don't know. This is my best quote. Just go ahead, SDJ. You don't know what you don't know. Oh, I know. I know. It's true though. I mean, it's true. You don't know what you don't know. And then when people come to the program, they've said to us, oh my goddess, I had no idea. I didn't know this. And to answer someone's question, I can't, it, I saw it scroll by here, but if you cannot make the live sessions, they will be recorded. They will absolutely be recorded. Yes, yes. Um, and so you'll have access to that. That'll be in the Facebook group. Will this help me to learn how to speak my message across a broad audience base? Yes. And I'm thinking that you're talking about, when I hear you saying that, Kate, I'm thinking that you're saying not just you want to go more into mainstream and not just a certain demographic according to the subject i would say yes sunny what do you think yeah i think i mean i i think that i think that any tool that you a, anything that can help support your understanding of how to connect and communicate with your audience and with larger audiences, because sometimes people get overwhelmed by the amount of people and they don't know how to hold their energy well and, and they're they're kind of getting tapped or don't know how to maintain boundaries. Those are all pieces of being able to expand your audience, but maintain your your own message vibration and not shift because of who's in front of you. Exactly, exactly. Any other questions? Hello, Mary. Good to see you here. Okay, I'm just, hi from Australia. So glad you're watching. So yeah, guys, so as a, as a reminder, so the course is available now. You can go right here, www.celebrateyourlife.com forward slash speakers program. Um, you can go, go there to get registered. Um, again, the first live is March 16th. If you know other people that you are that are working on, you know, they're writing a book. If you're writing a book, if you're going to sell the book, you're going to have to know how to speak. Um, if you are a teacher and you want to expand um, your ability to connect with your audience, then this would be a good program because it's not just it's not just a, it's not just Toastmasters. It's not just about speaking. There's a whole energetic piece of this that is a huge aspect that most people don't teach. The producer aspect of it that Liz um, adds to, and even the body language and the way to hold your hold your um, your your breath and 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 speak from your diaphragm. That those are tools that that Liz gives you that you just don't get otherwise. So um, it's a great program, guys. The people that have taken it have loved it. Um, the doors are open. They'll be open until it starts. Um, which is March 16th. And then again, you get the lives every week on Tuesdays at 5 p.m. They will be recorded, but you'll get those every week and a special Facebook group to be a part of. Um, okay, there's a couple more questions. So, oh, when does registration close? Well, uh, until we start it. So uh, March 16th. March 16th, that's right. And if for those of you, if you need a payment plan, you can call our office and we can help you with a payment plan. Um, if So... I wonder if it's listed on the website. If it's not listed on the website, I'll make sure it is. <laughs> but here it is. If you want to write down our phone number, it's 480-970-8543. Again, 480-970-8543. So if anybody needs a payment plan, you can call the office if you want to. But if you don't, you can just go to the website and pay for it right on the website. Um, is the Celebrate Your Life Facebook group 
private or public. Janiel, for the speakers program, that is a private group. That is a private group because we want to keep the energy sacred. We want to make certain that everyone feels comfortable in sharing whatever it is, it is you need to share. It is a private group. So no one outside of the group can see that number one, that you're in it or can see that you're posting in it and what you're posting. So it's private. Any other questions? You can ask us anything, guys. Go for it. <laughs> I think we answered a lot of them. So go, oh, check no. out, guys, go check out the page. And listen, here's the thing. If you're not sure, put your hand on your heart. It'll speak to you. It'll tell you, okay, this is something that's meant for me. You know, it's an investment. It's an investment in your time, in your energy, in your money, and in your business. And uh, a lot of time, I don't think that, I don't think that there is, if you if you do anything where you're connecting and communicating with people, um, I think it could benefit you because you're learning how to um, to be present to energy. And sometimes your audience might be three people. Sometimes it might be 300. Sometimes it might be 3,000. To me, that doesn't make a difference. So um, if you're guided, we would love to have you. If you're nervous, that is a sign. Do it. If you are nervous when you get nervous i always look if, if you're afraid that's the thing to do next so if you got a little stuff going on in your belly you're like oh my gosh God, that's that's the thing guys that is the thing so and sunny right. and i have a really good time together so we're gonna have fun yeah it will be fun it will for sure be fun guys so all right i think that's it i think we gave them gave them what they needed to know oh allison's already sweating Allison. so, perfect i love it Oh, Sunny, wait a second. Before we go, would you please tell the story of what used to happen to you every time you went on stage? I, I for sure will. So this guys, is so great. So here's what, um, you know, for many of you, you've seen me on stage. You've seen me here for the last year, every single weekday. Um, and so it probably is hard to imagine that um, 20, 20 years ago, when I uh, very first started teaching, I actually wasn't teaching. I wasn't a teacher. But somebody came to me, two people came to me and they said, could you please teach us Reiki? And I said, I don't teach. And they said, uh, aren't you a Reiki master? Uh-huh. Um, doesn't that mean you can teach? Yeah, but I don't teach. And they're like, well, please, will you teach us? Nope. Then they came back a week later. And so on and on, I finally taught those two people. And then um, other people came and it just started growing. And eventually I found myself in a situation where I was going to present a class on angels at the um, public library in um uh in glendale and i was i i was a little bit nervous in my head and a lot nervous in my body like i was shaking i was trembling and my head i was like well there's only going to be like 20 people sunny like you can do it get over yourself i got to the event and there were 85. so i went in the bathroom and i puked my guts out and there were a couple of the speakers in the, or a couple of the attendees in the bathroom and I'm sitting in the <laughs> big stall and I'm talking to myself and I'm like, okay, it's going to be okay. You're going to be okay. I'm spinning around trying to shift my energy up, trying to figure out where my mouthwash is. <laughs> it was a, can you just see Sunny in the stall of a bathroom <laughs> trying to hold your hair back, right? Yeah. Now. Yeah. And back then I had some hair. So. It was the 80s, no. Oh, yeah. Well, I brought, the, I try to bring the 80s forward. We like 80s hair, yeah. Right. So, yeah. So, here's the, the deal is, guys, I was scared to death. And I, I used to get sick all the time. And in that bathroom at that library that day, something changed. What changed was I said to Spirit, I said, I will do this work, but I cannot get sick every single time I do it. I, I, I will do this. I'm open, I'm willing, I'm present. I hear you. I get that I'm not getting out of this, but I cannot be sick. Never once since then have I been nervous. Never once. Now, it doesn't matter if I'm on a television show, if I'm doing something I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm on a stage in front of 3,000 people. It doesn't matter. I don't. That part is gone because I've learned how to focus my energy. And the message spirit said to me is when you get nervous, focus on service. That was it for me. That was it. I I'm not guaranteeing that. that for all of you, but I'm just saying sometimes you got to puke it out and then you're okay. <laughs> you have to throw it up. Yep. 
sometimes. <laughs> oh, I think that's great. I think that's great. And it's really funny. The only times I've really ever been nervous was um, when I was an actress, I would get horribly nervous, horribly every time I would walk on stage, every single time. And when I do events, I'm not nervous at all because I don't have a script. Mm -hmm. And I used to be very nervous about going up on my lines. And, but as a speaker, I did get nervous the other day when I had to do a Zoom presentation. Mm. That yeah. was interesting. That was yeah. really interesting. I was like, oh, that's oh. weird. Yeah. <laughs> and I did exactly what you teach us. I focused on the message. I focused on all the people that are going to be there and how to be of service and what do they need to hear? Why are they showing up here? Because people are showing up for a reason. Right. They need something. They want to hear something. Something in their lives it is, is moving them to be present with me. So yeah. Yeah. I had yeah. to knock it off, as my mother would say. That's right. <laughs> Pull yourself together. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So That's come to great. us. Come Juliana. Yay! You're going to join yes. us. Come and join us, guys. We'd love to have you join us. Spread the word. If you know people, let them know. And uh, we'll be doing some lives here and there, sharing some other little pieces and information along the way. And we'll see you. If you're going to join us, we'll see you on March 16th. That's right. And awesome. we'll be live here again, though. I'm sure we will. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Thanks, Liz. Thanks, everyone. Have a great one. Bye, guys. Hi.